evening. We will call to order the June 28th special call board meeting, Fairfield County School Board of Trustees. Uh, there has been appropriate public notification and there is confirmation of a quorum. We have six present at this moment with uh, Mr. Henry Miller um, calling in by phone. Um, we'd like that this is a special call board meeting and it was um, fairly short notice, just a week or so. Um, I talked with Ms. McDaniel and I informed her that I would give the board the opportunity to consider suspending the policy that allows or does not allow uh, board members to call into executive session. So if that happens, um, if she does call in, we'll need to be ready for that. The board, however, will have to vote whether to suspend that policy only for the moment. Um, I uh, asked Ms. McDaniel, uh, you know, certainly questioned her about having, uh, trusting her that there would not be anyone in the background or in your shot that would, um, that would hear what was going on during executive session. Um, and I'd also like to say that if we do vote to suspend the policy for this moment, I would only bring it to the board for consideration because it was short notice and it is a special call meeting. I would not want it to set precedent nor would I entertain it for a regular board meeting, um, and particularly, um, well, any board meeting that was a regular board meeting at any time. Um, but this being special circumstances and again, short notice, um, I thought that it might be the board's decision to bring it and uh, ask for consideration to suspend the policy. So before we enter um, executive session, I'll throw that out. I'll make the motion, um, then the, the motion being that the board, the board approve suspending the policy uh, for members to call in during executive session only in this uh, particular case so that those members who are on the phone, Mr. Miller or Ms. McDaniel, could have the opportunity to enter into executive session um, given that they will assure us that there are no extra years um, within earshot of their uh, phones and that they would certainly keep the confidentiality that we would expect in any executive session. So that will that will be my motion, although rather lengthy. <laughs> so, is there a second? I second. Thank you, Ms. Harrison. Y'all want to discuss that? I was quite clear when you said that this is a one time thing. Um, no precedent for future. Absolutely. Anybody else? Mr. Miller? Well, uh, Madam Chair, um, and I do understand that it was a short uh, notice, and, and for me, uh, you know, whatever the will of the board, of the board that we were, uh, they can do this, okay? I do understand that. Uh, but for me, personally, uh, I want this reflected that I will not be, uh, um, uh, uh, on the phone for the second state, just because I think it's pressing and that that uh, we may be uh, going down a slippery slope. Now, you know, somebody coming all the way from wherever they they're from, I, I do understand that, and it is short notice. But for me, I think that we uh, we need to uh, at least me. I, I'm not ready to to to, to uh, join me, and when y'all get through, y'all just call me back. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now we'll vote. It's down the line, so we can vote. Though, those in favor of suspending the policy at this one moment, given all the consideration and explanation that I gave, uh, signify by the raising of the right hand. Opposition. Mr. Miller. Votes four to two. We will uh, allow Ms. McDaniel, if she calls in, to call in during the executive session. And um, 
we will um, return after we have a motion to enter executive session. I make a motion, Madam Chair, we enter executive session. Thank you, Ms. Harris. Second. Thank you, Mr. Frick. Those in favor signify by raising the right hand. We'll return no later than six, seven. seven. <laughs> okay. we'll we'll yeah, yeah. We'll Hang you up. All right, you Hang you up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, there was no action taken during the executive session. We were there for discussion of personnel issues. Those in favor of the exit of executive session, signify by raising your right hand. Uh, there vote yes, no, whatever. Mr. Miller, exit executive session, Mr. McDaniel. Here. Here. Thank you. All right, we'll move on to the welcome, pledge of allegiance, and moment of silence. We'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I'll remain standing for a moment of silence and reflection. Thank you. Move to the approval of the agenda. Madam Chair, make a motion to approve the agenda. I second. Thank you, Mr. Frick. Ms. Harrison, any questions on that? Hearing none, those in favor of the agenda as presented signify by raising the right hand. Thank you. Got two no. Mr. Miller, Mr. McDaniel. Hello. Andy. All right. Well, we've got a <laughs> the motion carries. Public comment. Madam Chair, we've received no public comment for this evening. Not even Doctor Mason. <laughs> We'll move to human resources. Yeah, they're Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the board. This evening for your approval under human resources item one, certified resignations and terminations. The superintendent recommends the board approve resignations and terminations for professional certified staff members. And those members are listed in Exhibits 1A and 1B. Madam Chair. We need to separate those. Madam Chair, make a motion to approve professional certified resignation terminations in Exhibit 1A, pending suitable replacement. Thank you, Mr. Frick. Thank you, Fat Pastor Jackson. The uh, <clears throat> motion and second have been made to uh, approve the resignations terminations listed in Exhibit 1A. Those in favor signify by raising the right hand. All right, Daniel and Miller. And Henry. Professional Certified Administration Resignation and Termination in Exhibit 1B.
We're not hiring for that position yet. It's often, but we do have lots of applicants. Did we get a second on that? We did not. Wait. I said. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. I, I didn't say it. Okay. <laughs> you did it in your head. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fred. Thank you, Pastor Jackson. We have a motion and a second that the board approve the resignation terminations uh, listed in 1B. Those in favor signify by raising the right hand. Opposition. Let's finish, Bodie. Mr. Daniel. Okay. Mr. Miller. Okay. At this point, 5-1. Ms. Harper, go ahead. I'd like to put on the record that I voted against it because it was, it did not state that it was suitable replacement. Okay, we got it. We got it. The last vote on the paper, too. I asked that he could replace it. Okay, so we've got six one on exhibit. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, one B. Certified recommendations. That's here. Make a motion. Wait, uh, oh. sure. <laughs> for um, certified recommendations, superintendent recommends board approval for recommendations that are included in exhibit two. This is for academic year 2017-18. Maybe I don't feel like that. <laughs> Madam Chair, make a motion to approve professional certified recommendation in Exhibit 2A. Madam Chair, I second. Thank you, Mr. Fred and Pastor Jackson. And I think that was probably Exhibit 2 since there's no way. So we'll, uh, we'll well, assume that. Okay. Um, those in favor of the Superintendent's recommendation that the board approve certified professional educators for um, 17, 18 and exhibit two, signify by raising the right hand. We've got five sitting here. Good luck, Ms. Harrison. Ten minutes. And, and, I'm in favor. Seven, zero, Ms. Brown. And we'll move to three. Lastly, certified administrative recommendations, which can, are contained in Exhibit 3, where the superintendent recommend, recommends board approval for certified professional administrators for academic year 2017-18. Madam Chair, make a motion to approve professional certified administrative recommendations in Exhibit 3, Candidate 1. Thank you, Ms. Harrison. We have a uh, motion and a second that the board approve the certified professional administrators listed in Exhibit 3, and we will um, vote first on candidate one. Candidate one. Those in favor signify by raising the right hand. Hartman, I didn't. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Seven zero. If you'll make another. Madam Chair, make a motion to approve professional certified administrative recommendations, Exhibit Three, Candidate Two. Second. Thank you, Mr. Fred. Thank you, Pastor Jackson. The motion and second have been made that the board approve certified professional administrators, Exhibit Three, Candidate. Two. Those in favor signify by raising the right hand. Opposition? What? Any? 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 based on what they said that they take a, you have a group that looks 
said that I am concerned about? Not no, 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 It doesn't matter. There's only one person in the exhibit. Sorry. You can't make comments about personnel positions in public session, period. Okay. That's why we Except typically don't on, allow that. concerns on the Thank you. So that's the deal. And we'll move on. Then. Under the board chair report, the training calendar, I assume everyone has their small conference wishes uh, to Ms. Brown at this time, and then the meeting schedule is there. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Yes. Uh, just real quickly, before you adjourn, can you adjourn the by this participating at this special call meeting. I know it was out of the uh, order of the usual. Thank you.